Georgia Feller, what's up, man? USCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about my breakout player of the year. Um, listen, I had to do some reflecting and I had to think about and I had to come clean. Listen, I had look, it, this is a public apology um, for Mike Jack. Let me tell you why. Uh, Mike Jack. Uh, essentially, do you guys remember last spring uh, I did the uh, receivers? And we're going to take a look at some film real quick. We're going to take a look at what Mike Jack did this year. He was absolutely unbelievable uh, for the times that he did get the ball. But last spring, I rated the receivers from top to bottom. I did I did uh, everybody. And, and really, the guys that were uh, returning, such as Gary Bryant Jr., he had, and, and Todd Washington. Todd Washington had 600 yards coming into the season. And I went down the line. Taj Washington has 600 yards, the most returning from USC's current roster. And then you had even Brandon Rice only had like 400 yards when he came from Colorado. And then Gary Bryant, he had second most uh, on USC's team. He had uh, 500 and some yards. Uh, so it was Taj Washington. And then at the bottom of the list was Mike Jack. Um, he only had like 100 and some yards. So, so he essentially, um, when, when we were coming into the season, he really wasn't on the radar like everybody else. But boy... When he came in and made some moves on this season, and when he got the ball, man, he became more than on the radar, man. He became like, let's get him the ball, man. We got to get him the ball because I tell you what, when Jordan Addison and Mario Williams got out, to, came out the game uh, early on in this season due to injuries, man, Mike Jack, Todd Washington, Kyle Ford, all three of those guys, but specifically Mike Jack came up, he filled the shoes of Jordan Addison, and to me, he was just as good. You guys hit me in the comment section and tell me what you think. He was explosive, he was physical, and we're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about when we're talking about Mike Jack. Let's take a look at this, man. You guys hit me in the comment section, tell me what you think. Mike Jackson, uh, the third, is my 2022 breakout player of the year, and that's as a, at, from the team period. On the defensive side and the offensive side. Mike Jack, you guys hit me. I want to know your your uh, your uh, player of the year. Breakout player. Mike Jack was my player of the year, hands down, completely. You guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Let's take a look at this video. Let's see Mike Jack here, man. And you just watch him when he runs these screens. And I'm going to be honest with you guys about this. Every time I've seen him run this screen, and I've seen Addison do the same thing, he looked just as explosive as Addison. And Addison was the Belitnikoff Award winner. Now, I'm just going to – I, I got to keep it 100 on this because, I mean, man, to me, he did not get the ball enough. Let's take a look at Mike Jack. Here he is here, that screen. And look at him just explode. Nobody's able to even come close. I mean, he just pulls away from guys, even guys that had angles at him. They couldn't even catch up to him. And that's him on that 59. All right, this is going to be him. Same game. Different play. Watch him here on this corner. Look how he cuts. And then the ball, I mean, he made that turn before it. he got out of that turn. The ball was thrown. Let's take a look at it one more time. Ball was thrown while his back was almost turned. And he gets, I mean, he just, man... Professional. Here's going to be Mike Jack again. This is against Utah. And it's going to be the same exact thing. Watch him break on this ball. Every time he gets this ball, he's just extremely explosive when he gets it. And he takes it to the house. Man, Mike Jack is explosive, man. He's my breakout player. We're going to look at this one more time. This comeback, man. I mean, who does it better? All right, this is going to be Mike Jack once again, and we're just going to take a look at him. This is going to be another look at that, at, at, at his run, but it's going to be that cow run, but it's going to be from a different angle. Just look how explosive he's looking here. And you can see the speed, man, just on display. It was unbelievable, man. Size, strength, speed, everything. And this is going to be Mike Jack right here. Um, on the season, uh, Mike Jack, sophomore, man. It's hard to believe that he's only a sophomore. And um, listen, he was hurt 
pretty much last year. And so he came in the 2021 class. And I tell you what, man, he has 17 receptions this year, 236 yards, four TDs for an average of 13.9 yards. Listen, he could have got the ball so much more uh, between him, Taj Washington, Kyle Ford, but that's water under the bridge. But listen, uh, this guy, I'm expecting him to get the ball a lot more uh, next year, especially what we've seen him do this year. Man, Mike Jack has proven himself. Listen, this video is straight um, specifically for him because I believe that he was the 2020. Uh, two breakout player of the year. Um, he proved himself. He handled his business, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Now, we're about to wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> if pitchers could say a thousand words, you see Mike Jack running with the ball, and then you see Caleb, man. Caleb looked like he's trying to dip next to Mike Jack. Man, what kind of, this is a credible leader, man. So, look, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. What's your thoughts on uh, Mike Jack? I think Caleb Williams and Michael Jackson um, develop a relationship, develop a, a, a bond as it relates to the chemistry, rather. Let me say that, chemistry, when you're talking about on the field, man. I, so, listen, I'm looking for... Uh, looking forward to this duo, man, as well as the other guys that are coming in. But next year, I'm expecting him to be uh, a leader when you're talking about in the wide right receiver room. All right, so hit me in the comment section. Tell me what you think, man. Who's your breakout player of the year? Uh, it could be Mike Jack, but let me know. I want to know specifically from each individual. Let me know who your breakout player of the year is as a whole. You know, if you only had to pick one player, that's from the defense and the offense. Well, you don't have to pick both, but just one player. I'm picking him as a whole, man. He was that impressive. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Look, you guys know where to find me. It's going to be USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Until later on, until tomorrow, man, listen, everybody stay blessed, stay focused, and look, you guys continue to make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen, man. Fight on, fight on, fight on.